You're gonna be going to jail for possession of controlled please. substance, the heroin and the methamphetamine. The what? It looks like it's gonna be heroin. No, please. Hey, what you want? What you want? What you gonna do? When come for you? So I was patrolling a high drug area, um, and we pass this vehicle. And it runs a stop sign, and as I'm about to actually initiate a traffic stop, it abruptly turns into a private driveway. I'm watching the driver, and he's intently watching me in the side mirror. The passenger is steadily moving around. He had no valid driver's license yet. So I, I get him to step out of the vehicle, place him in handcuffs. As I'm approaching the passenger side, I, I see a cigarette pack on the ground right outside of her window. How weird. Step out of the car. It uh, was not mine. Officer Floyd, I, you know I was sitting here, did not do anything. Step out. I did not. Are you serious, Step Dad? out of the car. Come on. Unit 31. Why are you quit act, Just quit, and then quit acting up. Step out. I didn't do it. I don't mean you're going to. Are you with me? What did I do? Hey, Floyd, hurry. I didn't do anything. Oh, my oh God. My God. In the cigarette pack, there were two bags of uh, methamphetamine. There's a, a bag of heroin and a bag of marijuana. And I see a, a zipper bag in front of the vehicle, and it had a loaded syringe with methamphetamine inside of it. I actually know the female and the, uh, the driver and the passenger. They're both narcotics violators. We've arrested them several times. So to kind of find out whose it actually was, we separate them, you know, speak to them individually. Who tossed that, that cigarette pack? I didn't throw that. OK, but did she? I, don't, I didn't see her. I was paying attention to you. Because I can easily just take both of y'all. She was moving around a lot. Mm -hmm. I didn't physically see her do anything. But she told you to pull up in here? Yes. Does she have a purse with her at all? I don't know. A little bag. What kind of bag? Just like a little bag. She's saying, well, he didn't throw it out. He didn't throw it out of the, there. But then I, then I actually told her, I said, well, listen to me. He's saying that you threw it out of the vehicle. And then at that point, she's like, oh, well, then he must have thrown it out of the vehicle, because I definitely didn't. I've dealt with her before. She's pretty prone to lie just to get, get out of things. It doesn't matter who she's throwing under the bus. I am on a case plane trying to get my kids back. Please don't ruin this. I didn't, I didn't do anything to you. I didn't know this dude had this stuff on him. I did I asked for it right to my probation office. He kept moving and shuffling him. And he's like, he's got me, he's got me, he's coming for me. I was like. I don't understand, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, I don't have a license. I didn't know that. OK. So you're saying it's his drug? It's not me. I would say it's impossible for him to throw something out that window without me seeing. And I was watching him intently. I could see her moving around in the vehicle as well, but I was more so focused on him. And she was the one that was extremely scared. He was calm throughout the whole thing after we addressed him driving on suspended license. And I, I genuinely believe that it was it was hers. Well, you just got to understand, look at it from my point of view, you know? It's on your side of the vehicle. I saw him the whole time. It's a female bag. The fact that it was outside your window. I'm going okay. to jail. Yeah, you're going to be... No, it's my... Listen to, Jack, my... listen to me. You're going to be going to jail for possession of controlled Please. substance times two. It's the, not hero... my... the heroin and the methamphetamine. The what? It looks like it's going to be heroin. No, please. Hey, Dad, that's not mine. My... She expressed concerns about, you know, wanting to get custody back of her children. And I told her, I was like, you need to focus on yourself, quit using narcotics, and then you can focus on the children. Unfortunately, it probably won't get through to her until she maybe has to do prison time and reflects on her mistakes. But hopefully she'll take this and realize that she's hanging out with the wrong group of people, she's doing the wrong thing, and she, she wants to clean up for her children, hopefully this time. Point one out to me, because I'm not seeing what you're seeing. See how they're crushed in? So that's it? It could be, or a stem. That could be a fiber optic or a seed. A fiber optic seed? No, fi a fiber optic line. And yeah. I'm even. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of what they are. Yes, sir, so Very aware. 